Koi was founded in 06 by a friend of mine, Craig Schweikover. Craig had an interest in fragrance and also very helpful for him, a grandparent from Hungary who had made candles many years ago. The word Akoya is actually a made up word. Uh, we use the, the phrase eco and soy. Put those two together and, and came up with a word Akoya, which we think kind of represents the brand nicely given, given the production method of Akoya. I think what's most important to the Akoya brand would be three key things really. One is the fragrances them, themselves. You know, that is the core of who we are. We are a fragrance house, a fragrance company. And to do that, we, we don't want to create just the same kind of rose fragrance or sandalwood fragrance that perhaps other companies have and are kind of traditional. We want to create fresh, new and exciting fragrances that give people a, a new and interesting experience, something new for their senses. We think that's really important. As we reside in Australasia, we want to be true to our provenance, our origin, and we want fragrances that perhaps kind of give the rest of the world, you know, a slice, a taste, a smell of, of our homeland and the botanicals from our homeland. So we think the Australasian aspect to our brand is important, it's certainly unique. And then finally, and really importantly, we care about creating environmentally sound candles. Akoi used plant-based waxes for a number of reasons. Obviously, in the creation of plant-based waxes, there's no kind of major damage to the environment. When you make a paraffin wax, which most candles use, it's a byproduct of the petroleum industry. Now, obviously, any kind of refinement in petroleum is, is not particularly kind to the environment. There's a lot of pollutants as byproducts of that process. That's not so in creating a, a, a plant wax. That's reason one. Reason two for using vegetable or plant waxes is because it burns at a lower heat. So it's not as dangerous to your environment. So if you spill the candle, um, if you, you pour burning uh, Akoya wax onto your skin, it won't burn you. That's not necessarily the case with other waxes. So it's a, it's a, lower, a lower heat. Um, which is safer. And um, reason number four for using plant waxes is, is it burns slower. So you get a longer lasting fragrance emission from your candle as well. Akoya is based where it was founded. So all our fragrance products, our candles and diffusers are created on the shores of Botany Bay, which we think is a fantastic location for a brand that really utilizes a whole lot of botanicals. Body care is made here in New Zealand and we have a team of marketing people and administration people here in New Zealand and then people who really have no specific home. They roam the world telling the Akoya story. Isaac Sinclair is an amazing success story in his own right. Isaac is a New Zealander and at the age of 18 he decided he wanted to be a perfumer. He didn't know where to start so he started selling it. Then he realised that he needed to be uh, a trained perfumer to be a nose. So he took himself to Grasse in the south of France then on to Paris, then on to Milan, and he finally became, after a huge, huge journey, um, with all sorts of sacrifice, a qualified nose. Now there are fewer qualified noses in the world than there are astronauts, so that gives you an idea of just how specialised his skill set is. Isaac now creates fragrances for us at Akoya, and we are just thrilled to have one of the great perfumers working with us, as well as a chap from our home country. Growing up in the Waitakere Ranges on Auckland's west coast was amazing you know, when I was a child because there's just so many smells coming from the plants and you know in unison they just have this great what I call a scentscape. So you know growing up it was it was just amazing for me in terms of my uh, olfactive, olfactive memory and now you know as a perfumer every day really I try to get elements of that into my creations. Fragrance has very very big impact on your mood of course. So depending on, um, on how you're feeling, often people don't realize, but it's actually due to a fragrance. If you have a citrus fragrance, it's gonna be more energizing. If you have a more floral bouquet or, or watery fragrance, it's gonna have a different effect on your mood. Why are candles so popular? And why do they continue to grow? Look, there is a number of reasons. I think a key one is that we want more fragrance in our life. You know, we're starting to realize it's starting to kind of to dawn on many of us that having fragrance in our home actually lifts our home, makes it a more, more interesting place. I think there's, a, there's the old one in that natural light is, is easier for us to be around than harsh artificial light. It, natural light is kinder on beauty, it all, always takes a few years off our life. Uh, it's more romantic and kind of more sensual and there's something quite uh, ritualistic about lighting a candle. It's a great moment 
um, to start an occasion or to finish a day with or to have a bath with or to reward a partner with. So there's a, there's a moment that can be created simply by lighting a candle. The reason we included body care in our range of fragrances is people would come home and light a French pear candle and they would find that a lovely ritual. But they wanted that fragrance to be with them through the day. Perhaps they could use it as a hand cream, perhaps it could be a lotion or a wash or a soap and that allowed us to um, give people their favourite fragrance um, to more occasions in the day rather than just perhaps in the evening when they got to light a candle. Akoya is sold, look, all over the world. Obviously in the home markets of Australia and New Zealand and Australia, David Jones, just a fantastic partner of ours. Here in New Zealand, Red Current, Smith & Coe, Kukuri & Stain, some of the great brands of, of New Zealand homeware and retail. Further afield in the UK, Harrods. I was in Harrods a month ago. I was so proud to see Akoya just brilliantly stocked and displayed in one of the most iconic department stores of the world. Liberty in London, and then moving to the US, in, we're in Bloomingdale's, a fantastic, iconic New York department store. In Asia, we're in some gorgeous department stores and gift stores. From a business perspective, the future for Akoya is about growth. That's what our shareholders expect of us. We are a growth company, and it's about growing our brand worldwide and our product offering. From a personal point of view, and I think it's the same for many of us at Akoya, you know, we want others to experience the fragrance that us and our friends have done. You know, we know people love, for instance, cooking and having a lemongrass and, and ginger candle going at the same time, or love having midnight orchid in the room, in the bedroom, because it creates a warmer environment there. So we want others to experience some of those great kind of stories that we've experienced or we've seen first, firsthand. Um, I think it's a fantastic thing to be able to give just that little bit extra to someone's living environment. And why wouldn't we stimulate our senses? Smell is our strongest of senses. Why don't we keep it active? Why don't we give to that sense? And Akoya, we can do that.